Hello, and welcome to another episode of Broadcast Movie and TV Talk. So yes, I'm aware that I'm late doing this, but I kind of got sick. So, I finally am getting around to my discussion for the latest Marvel movie, and the first one that comes after Avengers Endgame, which is Spider-Man Far From Home, and this is also the wrapping up of the current phase of Marvel movies. So first, I'm going to do a non-spoiler section and then go into a full spoiler discussion, so here we go. For the non-spoiler section, you need to see this movie. I found that the theme of the movie is living up to expectations. Now, this isn't a spoiler because it's shown in the trailer that a lot of people are expecting Peter to be the next Iron Man and be able to live up to the expectation of being exactly like Tony Stark. Peter goes through a lot in that reference as well. And no, I'm not going to spoil it, but just go see the movie. Spider-Man Far From Home is definitely a great movie and very enjoyable too. Now to the spoiler section. So yeah, the sort of theme is living up to expectations, at least for Peter. It really starts when Peter and Aunt May, they're giving a speech, and Peter is in the Iron Spider suit. So after Peter goes out for questions and photos, a lot of people were asking him who's going to be the next Iron Man, and Peter gets overwhelmed and just bugs out. Not to mention that all the places they go to in the movie, there's always a picture of Tony somewhere. And, like, on the plane, uh, his teacher's watching a documentary about Tony Stark and so on. Peter really has this building character moment of people expecting him to be the next Iron Man, and Peter really isn't up for that. Plus, as Happy tells him, no one can be Tony Stark, and that really helped Peter realize that he needs to be Spider-Man, not Iron Man or Tony Stark. As for the story, I thought it was pretty good, really, when you think about it, some of it was like homecoming, especially when it comes to the villains, which I will get to soon. First thing I want to talk about is in the beginning of the movie. In the school news segment, they touch upon what happened in Infinity War and Endgame, which I'm going to call the snap, which they call the blip. In the school news segment, they show a gym where people faded and then basically almost instantly came back, and they like came back right in the places that they got snapped out of. Personally, I wanted to see more of what the snap was like for the average person, and really how quick the time of fading and coming back was, and I felt the way they showed it here was too quick. Like, when they fade and come back, it was all too quick, and it doesn't make sense, because in Endgame, there was five years from the time that Thanos did the snap and the time that the Hulk did the snap back. They touch upon the five years because they said that the people that got snapped out did not gain five years of age, but the people who didn't get snapped gained five years in age as they would normally. I think that's right. I'm not really sure. It could be flip-flopped. But this doesn't make the movie bad. It's just something I wanted to see more of is touching a little more on how the average person's view of the original snap from Infinity War and the snap back from Endgame went. Plus to go with that in Infinity War, people was one of Peter was one of those people who got snapped out and brought back in Endgame. And I really wanted Peter to say something about that. Like where did they go when they got snapped out? Peter experienced that firsthand and I would have loved to hear him mention something about it. But again, it's not a thing that makes the movie bad. Now the villains. We have Mysterio, or Quentin Beck, and his team of people. This gets me to the story is that in the beginning, Mysterio seems like a good guy helping S.H.I.E.L.D. take down elementals, and they get Peter to help, so they take down a fire elemental at a carnival. Also, a big piece to the movie is something that Happy gives P Peter called Edith, which is supposed to stand for Even in Death, I'm the Hero, and that's because they're high-tech Glasses that gives the wearer access to all of Tony Stark's technology. So after the fire elemental battle, Mysterio and Peter go to a bar. Peter has this grand realization that he should give Edith to Mysterio. And this is ultimately what Mysterio wanted anyway, because the twist is that Mysterio is actually the villain. Now I saw this coming, but because it didn't feel right seeing Mysterio be the hero... And I've never read a Spider-Man comic, but I just felt that Mysterio is probably the villain. So even knowing this, the way that the twist works was really interesting to me. Edith is, if you remember from Civil War, 
is what Tony nicknamed Barf and ended up firing the guy who made them. Plus, a guy that Obadiah Stane yelled at back in the first Iron Man movie. Basically, it comes down to this. Mysterio is a fake hero, and these elementals are holographic projections created by drones, and all these people who are making this happen at one point were affiliated with Stark, and so Peter is giving Edith to Beck, giving him access to like a million more of Stark's drones for all this illusion tech. See why they're... Like the villains from Homecoming who also got shafted by Tony and became villains. The thing is that Mysterio's reason for doing this is that he wants to be the big hero and wants to be remembered. And that given all the stuff that happens in the MCU that people will believe anything and they only really latch on to heroes saving the day. It's not the best motivations and he's not a great villain but he's not a bad one either. Also, when I first saw Mysterio on screen doing his magic, whatever, I really thought that Mysterio would be a great villain for Doctor Strange since they're both magic, magic users, but then it turns out it's fake anyway, so it wouldn't matter. So back to Spider-Man. Another portion of this movie is Peter developing his spider sense, which they kind of just say isn't working. I don't know. Maybe it's a lame excuse for them not being totally clear if he had it in Homecoming, Infinity War, and Endgame, and honestly... In the final showdown with Beck, Peter just kind of asks for his spider sense to work, and it does. And he's able to see through the illusion tech. Uh, something that is a little bit disappointing is that when Mysterio is working with S.H.I.E.L.D., he mentions that they are on Earth-616, and that he's from another version of Earth in the multiverse. And that really got me excited, that I thought they were going to do the multiverse in MCU. And then with the twist that Mysterio is a fake hero, it all dashed the hopes of the multiverse away. Which is a little bit disappointing, but not something that makes the movie bad. There's a lot of cool things they could do if they did go the route of the multiverse in the MCU. Another really minor thing is that it felt awfully convenient that none of the other Avengers were around to deal with this themselves, or at least help Spider-Man. Like, Peter even asks, where is Thor? Where is Captain Marvel? Why couldn't Falcon or War Machine pop in to help? Don't get me wrong, I love Spider-Man. I really enjoyed this movie, but sometimes it feels too awfully convenient that the other Avengers are either busy or off-world to be able to help out. Heck, why couldn't Pepper throw on her rescue armor and help out? Either way, not something that makes the movie bad. Lastly, I want to talk about the end of the movie and the credits scene. So at the end, Spider-Man saves the day and he gets to be with MJ. So Peter takes her for a swing and she hates it. So they land and as Peter is about to web off, a new show pops up on a TV and it's talking about the battle on the bridge and the fight with Mysterio and they get a clip in which it paints Spider-Man as being the one who made the illusion tech and the drones but then on the big news thing for everyone in new york to hear mysterio tells them that spider-man is peter parker and the movie ends yeah spider-man gets revealed to the world that he, well peter gets revealed to the world that he's spider-man and like other people i've watched reviews on this movie of compared to compare this to the end of iron man when tony stark reveals to the public that he's iron man but here having Beck do that, he's basically framing Peter as the one who did all this illusion stuff, all the bad things. This raises a lot of questions. What is going to happen with Spider-Man now? Is the public going to believe Beck and turn against Spider-Man? Is this the way the, that Marvel is going to take the Avengers now? By having the public think they're actually bad? Now the first credits here we get is the reveal that in this movie Nick Fury was not himself, but was actually Talos, the Skrull from Captain Marvel, and Hill was also a Skrull too. If you were not paying attention to the movie, there was a hint of this when Peter asks if any of the other Avengers could help him, or could take care of the elementals, and he mentions Captain Marvel, and Fury says, don't invoke her name, which could give the hint that this was not the real Nick Fury. But with the last credit scene, the real Nick Fury is chilling uh, on a Skrull ship and gets up and tells everyone to get back to work. And this scene, I don't really know what the point of it was other than a joke. 
Overall, this movie is a see in theater type of movie in my opinion. The action is great, the comedy is great. For me, Tom Holland is just the best Peter Parker Spider-Man on screen. A favorite joke of mine is when Peter gets picked up by Happy in a Stark Industries jet and is making a new suit, and it reminds you of the scene of Tony Stark making the Mark II in the first Iron Man movie, and Happy puts uh, um, Back in Black by ACDC on, and Peter says, I love Led Zeppelin. It was just hilarious. Spider-Man Far From Home is a great movie, and it's very enjoyable, too. That's all I have to say, so if you want to add to the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.